Hello and welcome to Traditional Thursday. I'm Connor Wilson for LaxAllStars.com. Today we're going to talk about tension in your pocket. And this is especially important to look at right after you've strung a stick. So I just strung up this stick. Again, I used three different colors uh, just to show you the different trees. Right, this will be the first one I put in, second one, third one. Uh, I have this stick set up right now so that the tension is really very good. Uh, all of these diamonds are spaced correctly and the leathers are not loose. They're also not pulled too tight. So as you can see, it's really come together pretty nicely. But I did run into some problems the first time I strung it. One of those problems that you're often going to run into will be when these knots aren't exactly in the right place. So what you end up getting, and you can see it here, when this knot has been moved up a little bit, you have this. Right? You can see how this leather bows. So the key to maintaining good tension is making sure that this piece and this piece, so it's this piece and this piece, you know, are, are the right tension first, that, that the knot is there solidly, which it is right now, but you can see that it's got a kink in it. So there's a little too little leather there, a little too much leather here. So in this case, where this is, I would move this knot back down just a little bit like that. And as you can see, that got rid of the kink. So if you have a couple kinks here, you're probably gonna need to pull the leather through a little bit, move that knot up the leather a little bit, and pull the leather through and you're gonna end up with a kink here. And to solve this bottom kink, when this is out, all you have to do is tighten that leather up a little bit more. So that's really your key. You wanna notice that you've got knots here. They kinda of line up across the stick. And so you wanna try and maintain that spacing. Get rid of all those kinks by moving the knots around a little bit. And you should be good to go. So play a little wall ball with the stick. And then to test it out, I like to put a tennis ball right in there, wherever my pocket's going to be. And then I'm going to take a wooden dowel. Uh, some people prefer to use a butter knife. I like the wooden dowel. Put that in there, and as you can see, I have no kinks. Right? There's no nowhere on any of these leathers does it look like it's too loose or too tight. So that's really what you want to focus on is having the leather sit in a nice natural arc. Okay, without too much looseness or too much tightness. Uh, it, it really is kind of that middle Goldilocks, just right attitude that you're looking for. So put a ball in there. You can move some tension around, around a tennis ball. I like an older tennis ball, it's got a little give to it. It's not gonna hold the pocket super tight so you can move these strings around a little bit and try and get your tension right. You know, here I might be able to take a little looseness out of this side wall. You can see how, right? If the string is like that, it's probably a little too loose, okay? On this side, it's a little better. It doesn't move quite as much, right? And then when you get to these strings, they really shouldn't be moving much at all. So that's about it. I hope that helps. If you've got questions, drop them in the comments. We'll try to get to them next week. Keep stringing your traditional sticks. It's making a comeback in a major, fierce kind of way. So get with the program. See you next time.